YouTube, what's going on? My name is Adonis, and today what we're going to do is just go over Texas Chainsaw Massacre's new game mode called Rush Week. In Rush Week, you play as either six sorority girls or one killer by the name of Johnny. As the sorority girls, your goal is to escape by any means necessary. There are three possible ways of escaping. Uh, the first of which is an attic ex exit, which I think, honestly, uh, you just probably wait in the attic until the cops show up because it i don't know what they're doing in the attic outside of possibly just hiding uh the second or the other two exits it's pretty much you have to start up a phone call inside the house by starting up a fuse box or uh, start a phone call with the cops outside instead inside of the car once you find the car keys uh once you do that a timer starts starts at six minutes and i got to finish the call w six minutes I think if you have both phone calls, it drops it down to two or three minutes and you just have to survive until the cops show up. I think one of the first issues is outside of that, there should be some sort of exit that the survivors have to make once the cops come. I think just standing there and, oh, you survived the six minutes and you're good now. You just leave. Um, you just end game just starts. I don't think it's the greatest. I think you should, at the very least, to make it a little fun, a little, oh, I got to try to get you at the doorway. Maybe I can, maybe Johnny can only get one person of the six if there are still six left around. I think that would have made it for a better gameplay loop, kind of just waiting for a timer to go off isn't the most fun interaction in the game. So that's probably one of my first issues. But the real big issue that starts off all of this is probably the $20 for the early access they are charging people to play. Uh, if you do have the game already and you paid $40, yep. Yeah, if you want to play it early, you still have to get the 20 additional dollars to play early. It's just for a few days. And after that, I think it goes public for everyone. But for those of you who want to play early, you will have to, in fact, pay the $20. With that $20, I do believe you get a new cosmetic set for a bunch of the characters. You might even get a, a new character too. I'm not sure. As well as getting some new Moris or the kill animations too. But truth be told, most people are only playing that game or only paying that extra money which i think is a bit greedy on gun interactives part the player count as of recording this video is at about 1000 players obviously only on steam which means at best maybe let's give it the highest number 5000 total across all platforms you don't have that many people playing this game anymore um, it's fell out of favor with the public for quite some time there's been too many bugs too many issues crossplay was turned off um hacking etc there were just too many things plaguing the game it be kind of became unfun bubba where you had to play bubba every single time in the main game mode so many things went wrong after the first month of its launch that a lot of people stopped playing and to smack your community in the face and say hey listen if you want to play this early give us more money is not the best way of kind of healing that bridge in my opinion um it just felt also like a game mode of fan service it's johnny which of course everyone is swooning for johnny and a bunch of college girls some of which are in their tidy whities running around um trying not to get murdered and as you're running around by the way you are a two hit kill oh my god oh my god Hoot. 30 seconds 30 seconds i, I need to get my stand back I need to get it back. Woo! Oh. Ah! No! What? Two hits? Two? Two hits? If Johnny wanted to, one hit, two hits, you're completely out of the game. The game loop for me is not extensive or deep enough for it to be exciting to play continuously. I feel like it's an undercooked version of what it should have been. Um, you know, they are gun interactive is not the only developers that do this i think behavior very oftentimes makes these game modes that are kind of undercooked and underdeveloped um there are things about this game that just seems like a watered down version of the actual game that already exists and if they would in fact just add other mechanics into the game other features that make it more unique maybe it'll make for a gameplay loop that's a little bit more enjoyable for example at the time of this recording there is only one map the variety of places that things can show up is not too varied at all uh the 
the attic exit is always in the same place. The car placement is always in the exact same place. Uh, it would have been nice also if maybe you could have done some sort of driving, drive the car out of there. That thing would have been nice, fun, silly, uh, and sweet all at the same time if they would have been able to do that. A lot of the screwdrivers that you would find very often times are in the exact same places the fuse box very often times that you would look for in order to power the phone is very often in like just a couple of places as well so it doesn't make for a very interactive nor fun gameplay loop for example what i mean by this the gameplay loop right i think it's very important to have a very enticing and fun gameplay loop in Dead by Daylight, for example, some of the best gameplay loops are the looping aspects of the game. You come back for those 50-50 moments, uh, the looping at a pallet, at a window, at shack, etc. That gameplay loops keeps you coming back. That when you're a killer or survivor trying to win a 50-50, it's so exciting, so fun when you're dodging the killer's power, etc. Whereas the greatest gameplay loop that i think exists in this game mode at the very least i haven't played the regular game mode in quite some time is slamming a door on the killer's face hoping that they get hit go down um maybe if you get one of the wonky knives that don't really work too well for some reason in this game mode where you can stab the killer in the back maybe that'll work maybe that'll be decent but for the most part uh going down in two hits if you mess any of this up is not the best feeling in the world granted i will say the lobby queue times were pretty fast but not fast enough to keep me playing the game for too long i've played it for about three hours today while i was on stream i don't think i'm going to return to the game uh, un unless maybe they provide some sort of updates where it makes it a little bit more fun they did lose me a long time ago with the lack of communication and lack of updates with the game and unfortunately i don't play it anymore but the first month that it did come out in general i think tcm was such an amazing and fun new game outside of the there's just one killer it's one map as well with very little variety and the same exact ways to exit every single time um there's also disconnects there are vents that are connected from one room to the next that the killer can literally just if you take one vent the killer can walk right over and walk to the next vent it doesn't even take you to a random one anywhere in the house they know exactly where you're going to i think if you get a good group of survivors you'll probably get them to exit pretty quickly um if they know the map if you know the map well enough if they have good comms they can do a lot of work if you're here in solo queue it might be a little bit different overall i just rate this game not too well uh I, again a water down a watered down version of its normal gameplay and it's just not that great i see a few people playing this maybe for about a week or so and once you've only played against the only killer johnny for a thousand times then I think you're going to give it up. There also isn't anything if you are the last survivor alive. Uh, I thought is maybe the cops automatically get called and you just have to survive or there is some sort of hatch or something. But no, if if they if the whole team has died before anything else was done, you are just pretty much dead. Johnny becomes so strong. He has infinite stamina at one point with one of his um, powers that he gets as he kills more people. He gets stronger. So that's great. And then you're the only person left. He can find you by tracking you because he still has that power as well. So um, though I got to play both sides, it also wasn't the most fulfilling thing to me when I was able to down survivors in just two hits. If they were just to make it where maybe if it's two hits, but the first hit gives you some sort of speed boost or maybe even an immunity for two to three seconds allowing you to get to another location or or just to have a few steps even maybe giving you a little bit maybe half of your stamina back maybe a third of your stamina back maybe going down in three hits instead of two i don't know but something needs to be worked with that because the gameplay loop is just too quick and very often just not rewarding enough overall i'd have to probably give this a four maybe at best a 4.5 because i love bubs but bubba's not in this game mode so maybe a four i would say save your 20 dollars until it comes out fully but overall you're not gonna really want to play this for too much longer for those who love this game intently you'll probably come back to play this quite a bit but for those of you who, like myself, kind of got bored with the same gameplay loop that was there before, it's probably going to happen again. I'm sorry, I feel like this was such a sad review, and it's not my intention. I really did enjoy the game at one point, but it kind of fell out of favor with me, and I'm just not 
that enthused about it anymore. But what did you guys think? Was I a little bit unfair? Was I a little bit too too hard on TCM? What would you guys rate it? Have you played this mode? Did you like it? Is there anything else that you would change yourself? If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor. A like would help so much. And subscribe if you want to see more of these videos in the future. Uh, and if you ever want to come live to any of these streams and check out the games as it's happening, please do at twitch.tv forward slash Adonisaurus. Jesus, Je no way she... <laughs> Oh!